Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a horror movie review and I'll be having a look at Zombie Night. Now this movie is actually produced by Asylum and that's enough to put some horror into you right there. So this is a sci-fi TV movie and basically, I should probably guess, tells the story of uh, zombies who rise up one night and then to eat the flesh of the living. And essentially it, it, it tells a tale of, of, sort of two families and their sort of a uh, mission to kind of overcome the zombies for the night and basically survive until the next day. Now, uh, Asylum, as I've kind of mentioned in previous videos, tend to make kind of mock busters or, or really just kind of rip-offs of kind of modern uh, sort of big budget movies. Whilst this one is more of a kind of an, an original movie, but arguably you could say it's obviously going off the back of The Walking Dead. So what's the film like? Well, Asylum Pictures, like I've, you know, I've always said, they're very, very cheap. They do things on an extremely low budget. And that obviously shows in this film. Now, let's not say it's all bad. I have to say the, the zombie effects are pretty good. Um, you know, I've seen quite a few zombie films. If you've watched my channel, you'll notice there's, you know, a good amount of reviews. And I have to say the zombie effects, especially for a low budget film, are actually quite nice. There's some decent effects and decent... Um, rotting flesh effects things like that and there's quite a lot of blood in this as well and they try you know these days you see a lot of cgi blood and the majority of blood here is is kind of all practical as well so that that's kind of quite good however there is some strange effects the very first zombie attack you'll see is this kind of legless zombie and he kind of just, almost just floats up and attacks this this kind of girl it's, it's a really bizarre scene and kind of sets the tone for the kind of uh, the kind of film you're going to get. The director here is actually the director who did Feast and Piranha Double D. And I actually quite like Feast. If you've not seen that, go, and go check it out. So I was kind of expecting a little bit more of an, an established feel to it, but it feels very sloppily directed. And this, I mean, it's got some really reasonably good actors in it as well. You've got um, Anthony Michael Hall, Alan Ruck, Daryl Hannah, all of which have done some pretty decent work in, in the past. But here they're... That even the acting seems very poor, even with these guys who were kind of, you know, relatively established actors. I'm surprised that, I mean, they're not all terrible, but for the most part, the acting in this film is pretty, pretty low. And it just seemed like it's the, it's been pushed through very quickly and they've not done a lot of takes and things like that. It's just kind of slapped together and, um, and then packaged out. And that's kind of what it feels like. Just a very sort of hastily put together movie. It's, like I said, I mean, the, it's, it's a very simple movie. There's not a lot in regards to plots. I mean, it, it, but it does start off quite quickly, I guess. So, you know, it's not a, a boring film at all. And you, you, you get zombie attacks straight away. But again, just it's very stupid. I mean, the, the, the way sort of people react to zombies, uh, the first time we see um, Anthony Michael Hall's character and then his sort of daughter in the, in the film, they basically sort of see these zombies literally sort of coming up through the ground as, as they kind of rise from the graves. And they just seem really calm and kind of just go, uh, you know, that's something you don't see every day or something along the lines of that. But it's just kind of, a, you know, a bit, a bit silly. And I guess maybe that's the, the whole point of this film. I guess it's not obviously, uh, it was never meant to be, I, I guess, a really serious dummy film. But nonetheless, it's kind of a bit stupid. But it's, like I say, overall, it's a very cheap film. Not bad special effects, simple story and crappy acting. So I'm going to give this movie a 3.5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.